It's now my great privilege to hand over to someone whose father perhaps influenced him to spend much of his life experiencing and deeply understanding the natural world and whose passion and curiosity for the wonders of our planet has clearly inspired his next generation. I must say I was um, enormously touched to have been asked here this evening, along with both my sons, to launch this really remarkable series. It is also a much-awaited opportunity to pay tribute to and thank Sir David Attenborough for all he has done over so many years to bring the wonder, the fascination, and increasingly the desperate plight of the natural world to our attention. Education about what we have, what we have destroyed, and what can and must be regenerated could not be more timely or more urgently needed. And we have cleared 50% of the world's rainforests, destroyed 50% of our coral reefs, poisoned our rivers, and indeed whole swathes of the ocean with a runoff from industrialized agriculture, and have dumped hundreds of millions of tons of plastic into the oceans as well. And of course, in doing so, we have instigated, as Sir David also said just now, the world's sixth mass extinction event, and have accelerated CO2 emissions to the extent that climate change is now a very real existential threat to our whole civilization. Now, I must say it has given me great pride to see how both my sons in different ways have taken up the cause of restoring the balance of nature. When they were much younger, I, I never thought they were paying attention to anything I said at all or did. But um, when I turned 70 last year, I discovered to my absolute astonishment that they had. <laughs> my sons are both keen to remind me that we know what the problem is. We no longer need permission to act, but the priority is now to focus urgently on finding and implementing solutions. So what I want to know is how can we possibly sacrifice our children's and grandchildren's entire future, let alone the future of all life on this miraculous planet, by not doing what we know is required now. <laughs> 